Hong Kong Immigration Department Form ID 990B is completed by the sponsor to an employment visa under the general employment policy. This supports the information provided by the applicant, him or herself, on the form ID 990A. This is a very important document and should be completed in tandem with a detailed supporting communication referencing a comprehensive submission bundle of documentation and information in support. In discussing this form, we shall look specifically at the details of the sponsor, the job itself, the financial standing of the proposed employer, the current staffing position of the sponsor, and the declarations to be made and the sponsorship undertaking required. Where the form requests information as to the nature of the business of the sponsoring company, you can simply state in headline terms, for example, aviation, trading, computer consultancy and the like, as the case may be, and then say, please see accompanying letter. If there is indeed an overseas subsidiary, co please complete this section and again state, please refer to the detailed information included on the covering letter. In this section, where the Immigration Department are seeking to understand how the employee is to be compensated, simply provide the headline information and in the space for fringe benefits to just add, please see the accompanying contract of employment or letter of engagement as the case may be. Be very careful with the title used for the role. Please ensure that it carries the connotation of managerial or supervisory duties. In the section seeking a description of job duties, we recommend that you simply state, please see accompanying letter for a detailed explanation and deal with the substantive matters as part of your arguments for the visa approval. This section of the form is where the rubber hits the road in relation to the approvability test. We highly recommend that you cover all of these points in your arguments, in your covering communication, and in both sections of the form, simply state, please see accompanying cover letter. Where the form is looking for information on the financial standing of the sponsor, it's important to include the headline data as far as you possibly can, but ensure that it's augmented by the detailed financial information to be included as part of the application bundle. If the company is a public company, the financial issues can easily be dealt with by including a copy of the latest annual report to shareholders, and in this section then, simply state, please see the most recent annual report to shareholders. When informing the Immigration Department of the current staffing position of the sponsor, the headline data should be provided in this section of the form ID 990B, but the data should accord exactly with the further information being supplied as part of the wider application bundle. And subsection 5 serves two purposes in the application consideration process. Firstly, it puts the Hong Kong ID on notice that the company is a current sponsor of foreign national employment visa permissions, and secondly, it points the Immigration Department in the direction of the recent prior application, meaning that the supporting documentary evidence to be provided by the sponsor need not be resubmitted all over again. There are two discrete sections on the Form ID 990B which deal with declarations. The first is included at the bottom of each page, speaking to the truthfulness, correctness and completeness of the information provided. And the second is at the end of the form, which is where the sponsor agrees to assume responsibility for the cost of repatriating or removing the applicant from Hong Kong if the residence goes awry for any reason.